This video is on Caria pallida, sand hickory. It's in the Juglandaceae family, the walnut family. The fruit type is a nut, and the specific epithet pallida be means pale. So, this hickory averages smaller in size than our other hickories we've learned so far. And as such, the wood is not really harvested or used for anything. The nuts are eaten by small mammals, and this species, as the name would suggest, is commonly associated with dry, sandy soils, um, often longleaf pine woodlands, especially in the sand hills of North Carolina. But this one is here at Pullen Park, which was an exciting find for us. This is the first time we're gonna teach this species in NC State Dendrology. So to identify this tree, like our other hickories, we're going to have pinnately compound leaves that are alternate on the twig. So there's a look at that alternate leaf arrangement. And this species is going to have seven leaflets. So usually seven leaflets per leaf. And you'll see just in my hand how small this leaf is compared to our other hickories. So it averages a smaller leaf size and those leaflets are really pointy, narrow, really slender leaflets. But the big key for this species is underneath the leaf. So we'll take a look at this rachis. Look at these dense, fuzzy hairs going all the way along the rachis here, mostly between the leaflets themselves, not so much down here at the end where it attaches to the stem, but more up here in the leaflets, you see how fuzzy that rachis is, those short bunched hairs, and then they extend even onto the mid veins of the leaflets themselves. So that's the big key for sand hickory, or one of them rather. The other one is if you look at the underside of the leaflet and if you scratch it a little with your finger, you can see these silvery scales. They're hard to show on camera. You can see those silvery scales underneath the leaflet surface. It's another really big key for sand hickory. See this kind of silvery cast and there's the underside of the leaflet. Um, it's especially obvious when you scratch um, scratch the tissue of the leaflet and you can see just those little silvery scales popping up where I've scratched it with my thumbnail. Now as for the nut, the nut's going to be pretty small and thin shelled. Um, similar to pig nut hickory. So here's a look. This nut's already mostly open so you can see that thin husk. Um, and it's pretty round overall but it can be a little oblong at one end, so similar to pig nut, but it never develops that nice snout we see on pig nut. So it's often a little pointed at one end, pretty small and round or oval in shape. And on a fresh one, this one's pretty old, but you can see a nice yellowish fuzz that decorates the outside of that husk. And um, that's really evident on the fresher nuts. This one's pretty old, I just found it in the dirt here. So that's your big key for the sand hickory nut, mostly circular, thin husk, a little oblong at one end and a nice yellowish fuzz on the fresh nuts um, and this nut will split all the way to the base so pig nut um, does not split all the way to the base when it's mature this one's already mature so it's falling apart so it's already splitting all the way to the base right there you can see along those sutures and as for the bark our bark's going to be pretty typical for all of our hickories we got this nice x and y pattern of ridges and furrows it tends to be pretty dark in color, a nice dark gray usually. But again, the pattern's pretty similar to our other hickories we've learned so far. But your big keys for this species, once again, are gonna be those seven narrow leaflets and this dense fuzzy pubescence all along that rake. Just look at all those hairs and up into the mid veins of the leaflets. And then, like I showed you with those silvery scales under the leaf, if you scratch them with your nail, they're really hard to show on camera, but you can definitely see them in the field, these little pale silvery scales underneath the leaflet. So those are your big keys for sand hickory.